How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Science of Golf Performance. I'm Will. I'm a physical therapist here at Par for Success. And today I want to talk to you about causes of wrist pain on the course, as well as treatments and how to fix yourself. All right, so number one, let's talk about the causes. So very commonly with the wrist, a few different things can actually cause pain. And we can be talking about either lead side, so your front side, or your trail side. Number one I want to talk about is a hard divot or coming down hard on the ball and taking a fatter shot as it's called, right? So just simply the impact in the ground can cause issues in the wrist and it can even lead up the arm into the elbow, into the shoulder, you name it. So that's one. Number two is a concept called casting. And you may have heard this one before. So that's bringing the club up as you come down instead of bringing, uh, you know, leading with the shoulders and, and really the thoracic spine first and then the shoulders. You're actually kind of just throwing your elbows out there, getting some elbow extension and also getting some uh, wrist deviation. And just that impact itself can cause some wrist issues. When you're talking about speeding that up on a repetitive basis, like on the course, it can absolutely cause some wrist issues. And number three I wanna talk about too, is actually shoulder limitations. So one of the things we look at too, especially with any clients coming in that are talking about wrist issues, is saying, hey, let's take a look at the swing and see how the, ra uh, the range of motion of the shoulder is actually looking. Oftentimes we can find, especially on the leads, or excuse me, the trail side, is that with limited external rotation, that is, when we're looking at the shoulder, this motion backwards into external rotation, if that's limited, then that can actually lead down the chain and cause issues even into the elbow or the wrist. We also have other videos talking about why your elbow pain isn't necessarily elbow pain. It's a similar story. You can have uh, shoulder issues and it can get lead right down the chain. Uh, last thing I wanna talk about too, is actually the uh, limited uh, ability to utilize your hips. That can actually lead up the chain and cause issues all the way even to the wrist. So if we're not able to utilize our hip rotation and our lower body effectively and efficiently within the swing, it can basically lead up the chain. We start working a little bit harder kind of the upper half of our body and issues can arise from that. And so that can be individual from swing to swing um, and just looking at person to person, simply looking at mobility levels is a good way to first check if there are issues there. Now we have a free home assessment that you can check out. We'll put in the comments section of this video. Please take a look. It goes through the entire body, four quick tests. It'll take you no more than two minutes just to take a look at how you're actually moving. And if you fail any of those, it's a good indicator. There could be potentially something going on that maybe you're already dealing with some pain or down the road, something could arise. So why not try to prevent that right now or fix it right now too? Uh, so now let's talk about some fixes on the wrist pain. So first of all, you gotta figure out what is going on. And you know, one quick fix is just simply saying, hey, we gotta change some things with the swing. If the swing is the consistent provocative move, then that's gonna be the big thing to, move, to work on. So for example, if I'm talking about, you know, hitting it hard into the ground and saying, oh God, I can feel that, or that casting motion or a combination, then we gotta fix that. Number two, if, you know, figuring out if, First of all, is it a local issue to the wrist and the wrist is simply showing pain or is it something else that's causing the wrist pain? We gotta make sure we're figuring out the uh, appropriate uh, actual cause. So if you know, you're working on your wrist with soft tissue mobilization work, if you're getting really nowhere, maybe you get that temporary relief, but it's not really fixing over time, then this is something that you gotta make sure, you gotta ask yourself, okay, is this actually the right spot that I'm treating or not? So in the case of a shoulder, for example, if we're just purely treating the wrist, it's not going to really fix anything. Again, you might get that temporary relief. We got to make sure we get into the culprit and the actual cause. And so if a tight shoulder is causing that wrist pain, we got to make sure we're treating that shoulder too. So again, check out that assessment. It's a great tool. It's free. It'll take you no time at all. Give you really, really quick, rapid results. And if you have further questions about it, we'd be happy to talk, to you, talk you through it too. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the uh, comment section. Leave a like and we'll see you next time.